Welcome to another video on the topic of digital control. As you may be able to tell, today's video is about turntable control and how to control a turntable digitally. I'll show you the whole thing together with our reverse loop module. The connection is similar for all turntables. I go from the output of the reverse loop module to the two cables from the platform voltage supply, so the reverse loop module reverses the polarity of the platform according to the turntable position. Depending on when you make a 180 degree turn and the locomotive enters or leaves the platform, you don't get a short circuit anymore. With the end turntable, with the Roco TT turntable, which was also available from Flushman in the early days, but which is basically the exact same turntable, and also with the Flushman H0 turntable, we have the same cable colors everywhere from the platform. So let's use the H0 turntable as an example and take a look at how to connect the turntables. The new, small Roco turntable and the large Roco turntable have different cable colors. That's why we'll also see how to connect these two turntables to the reverse loop module. The connection is relatively simple, we have the 5-pole flat ribbon cable that goes into the stage. The three cables on the right, the yellow, grey and red ones, are for the turntable motor, and the two yellow cables next to each other are the two cables for the stage voltage. Now plug the two yellow cables into the two output sockets of the reverse loop module. Just insert them and then screw them tight. And then, of course, we need the power supply from our digital control center and then you can operate the turntable digitally, and there are no more short circuits when making a 180 degree turn. The other three cables are connected to the three cables from the handheld controller. The turntable can then be controlled using the handheld controller and the reverse loop module provides the digital power supply including polarity reversal for a 180 degree turn. With the new Roco turntable, the 6154, the cable colors are a bit different. You need the brown and the black cable here. These are the two cables for the platform power supply. We take the brown and black cables and connect them to the two inputs. Screw them tight one time. The turntable is now ready for digital operation and the other three cables are connected back to the handheld controller. Now let's look at the large Roco turntable, the FA2615. With the large Roco turntable, the connection, I don't want to say it's more complex, but it's a little different. First, we take the turntable and turn it over. You can easily put it back in the packaging without damaging the cabin. Then take the large ribbon cable and connect it to the circuit board. Simply attach the plug to the circuit board. Then we have our control unit with two connections up here. The other end of our connection cable is connected to the wide connection. The connection cable with the narrow plug is then connected to the second side. You just plug it in on the top here. You now have four cables left. The two cables are connected to the accessory transformer for the turntable motor, and the green and brown cables are connected to the reverse loop module at the two outputs.
When the turntable is installed, the reverse loop module controls the polarity reversal for the platform voltage. The accessory transformer controls the control unit for the turntable, so it can then control the turntable motor to rotate the platform. And that brings us to the end of our video on reverse loop modules and turntable control. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.